Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. Today we are going to be reading A Mountain of Mittens by the wonderful Lynn Pallord. A Mountain of Mittens is illustrated by Mitch Vane and I want to start off the story by showing you there's some little actions that go along with the story. So there's a repeated phrase and it goes like this. Mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. Do you think you can do that with me? Let's give it another try. Ready? Mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. Good job. So that phrase gets repeated a couple times in the story, and maybe we can do those actions together. Let's see what happens in a mountain of mittens. And look at all those mittens on the cover. That's a lot of missing mittens. It was that time of year again. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as she put her mittens on to leave for the end of the day, she heard a tinsy, weensy sneeze. Achoo! There, shivering and quivering in the corner of the terrarium, was the class turtle, Myrtle. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, bless you, bless you, Myrtle Turtle. You must be catching a cold, said Molly. Here, cuddle in my mittens. They'll keep you cozy. You see what she's done? She's made a little bed for the turtle with her mittens. After school, Molly's teacher, Mr. Jolly, discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He put them in the lost and found pile and mumbled, they forgot their mittens. Are you ready? Here we go. Mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. Are you ready to see the pile? Whoa, that is a lot of mittens. The next day, Molly's parents velcroed Molly's mittens to her jacket. So did a lot of the other parents. Do you see the Velcro? There it is. It's all stuck to her. Hopefully that'll keep her and her mittens together. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled her parents. Nope, I won't. No way, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, Molly and her whole grade practiced their winter musical on stage with Miss Holly, the music teacher. Miss Holly played the piano with her fingers and jingled bells with her toes as Molly and the other students fa la la in their winter clothes. They even practiced opening and closing the stage curtain and taking a bow. Uh-oh, do you see the stage curtain here? It's a nice and purple curtain. But look, I can already see some Velcroed gloves sticking on. Uh-oh. <laughs> After school, Miss Molly discovered, oh, Miss Holly discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. She put them in, the lost and found, and mumbled and grumbled, they lost their mittens. Are you ready? Here we go. Mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. Are you ready to see the pile? Let's see how it's grown. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a huge pile. <laughs> Look at all those mittens. The next day, Molly's parents crocheted her mittens together with yarn, oh, with chain on a yarn. Look how long it is. So did the other kids' parents. <laughs> Look, poor Molly's all wrapped up in the yarn. Don't forget your mittens at school, said her parents. Nope, I won't. No way, no how, <laughs> answered Molly. What do you think? Is Molly right? 
Is she definitely going to remember her mittens? I hope so, but I don't know. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as Molly put on her mittens at the end of the day for the ride home, Mr. Golly's bus went slippity slide slush and slid off the snowy road. Oh, golly, Mr. Golly, said Molly. Don't worry, we'll help. Molly and the other students used the yarn chains on their mittens to lasso and yank, tug and pull the bus back onto the road. Look, they're all using the chains from their mittens. Uh-oh, but after all the students were safely bussed home, Mr. Golly discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He drove back to school and put them in the lost and found pile, mumbling and glumbling and rumbling. They forgot their mittens. Oh my gosh, look at this pile. Are you ready? Here we go. Mittens, mittens, oh, mittens, mittens. My, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. I don't think this pile can get much bigger. Look how giant this pile of mittens is. Holy smokes. The next day, Molly's parents duct taped Molly's mittens to her jacket. Look at that. <laughs> so did the other kids' parents. Duct tape, duct tape. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't. No way, no how, not me, answered Molly. <laughs> Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, just as Molly put on her mittens, the principal, Mrs. Folly, called for an emergency assembly. Mrs. Folly announced onto the microphone, no one, I repeat, no one will be allowed to leave school today until they reclaim their mittens from the lost and found pile. Whew. Are you ready? Here they go. Yikes, said Molly, the bus is waiting. So she dove into the lost and found pile along with a few other students. Grip, stick, stuck. Uh-oh, Molly and the other students were duct taped to the pile. Oh no. Holy mittens, yelled Mrs. Folly. We can't have our students stuck at school overnight. So Mrs. Folly hollered, hey! Then Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, Mrs. Folly tussled and tugged to try to free Molly and the other students. Here they go. Grip, stick, stuck. They got stuck too. Oh no, oh no. Molly, Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, Mrs. Folly, and more. My, oh my, a mountain of people piled high. Do you see everyone inside? There's mittens everywhere, but here's a person. Here's a person. Oh, there's one of the teachers upside down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Meanwhile, Molly's parents paced and fretted. Where, oh, where is Molly? We're worried she's late. When they called the school and got no answer, they quickly dialed 911. Then Molly's parents raced to school, along with a few other parents, and police officers, and firefighters, and the ambulance workers. With special snip-snap cutting equipment and Super duper teamwork, everyone was freed from the duct tape in no time flat. Hooray! 
yelled Molly, along with a few other students. Hooray, yelled Molly's parents, along with a few other parents. Everyone high-fived and hurried home for supper. Everyone, that is, except Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, and Mrs. Folly. They mumbled and grumbled and rumbled and roared. You forgot your mittens! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Those poor teachers! Let's try this one more time. Are you ready? <laughs> mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled high. Oh no, do you think those mittens are ever going to go home? I hope so. Look, there's going to be so many, they won't even fit in the room soon. <laughs> the end. Great listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that you don't forget your mittens anywhere this week. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye.